Hi everybody, it's Adam Hover here back with uh, Keeping In and Learning. Uh, as one of the digital learning coaches, I've been walking through this uh, series about little tweaks you can do uh, in your Canvas LMS uh, for some bigger gains. And so our next tweak is about using the discussion board feature. Uh, you know, we think about it as a way for our students to maybe interact and engage uh, with different uh, questions maybe we're asking or we want them to see each other's thinking. Uh, I think there's one thing that you could do that uh, puts some of the onus in their hands where they are kind of engaging uh, with one another and helping out each other. And this is something that I saw in some grad coursework um, that I was doing and they were using Canvas uh, and I adapted it quickly into my classroom because I thought, wow, this is such a, a great idea that, you know, why didn't I think of that? Uh, so I was really happy that um, my professor at the time was kind of using something similar. So. Uh, Let's switch over here to Canvas so we can take a look at what this uh, will be. So in your Canvas instance, now if you go to the discussions link, uh, you'll be able to create a discussion. And it's simple if we open this up here. Uh, all you have to do is create like a, a help desk. Uh, and this could be, you know, post uh, your questions here. So this is a way for your students to kind of crowdsource uh, out some, maybe some answers. So I think like right now, we're at the end of the school year, uh, as I'm recording this and I'm thinking about my students as they're preparing for their final exams. Uh, and what a great place for them to maybe ask questions uh, of each other. And you know, if they're struggling with say an ass a question on an assignment, uh, they can post it here and get some of that feedback. And so it's kind of a, a controlled space where you can see what is going on uh, and you can see the conversations that are happening. And there are settings that you can, um, you know, not allow students to delete what they've written. Uh, so you kind of have a log of all of that if you might be concerned about those things. Um, but this is just a really great place where, you know, maybe students are like, well, I didn't hear when the due date was or uh, what did the teacher say uh, today in class um, that I missed? Or, you know, there's a lot of ways that this could be used. But uh, I think this idea of this collaborative space where students can uh, feel comfortable to maybe share questions and um, get some feedback. And um, what I've seen from the times that I've used it is it allows me to know what my students are struggling with. And so when I think about, you know, going back and reteaching something the next day, you know, if I look in the help desk um, place and I see, you know, a lot of people are struggling with a, a question or someone posted a question and there were like several maybe incorrect responses of how to solve it or how to um, come to the correct answer, and then I know that that's something that maybe I can start off with in reteaching the next day. And so a pretty simple, pretty easy tweak where you're just creating this discussion board uh, in your Canvas instance. And then your students are able to use it kind of throughout the course of a semester or during the length of a project, kind of however you want to set that up uh, in a time um, timeline for your class. Uh, so this is uh, a simple, easy thing to do uh, that you can uh, create this help desk discussion board where you can now pin it and students can reply to it. And it is there then all semester long for your students to have access to. So uh, that is the fourth tweak in this series of how you can make those minor changes to really impact the learning environment for your students. So I hope to see you in the rest of the series.